Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, if we want to find uh, if we want to find the angle between the two vectors, therefore the formula we have cosine of theta is equal to u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So my recommendation would just be to find each and every piece of this information separately. So the first thing is we can find the dot product. The dot product of u dot v is simply going to be u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. Okay, so therefore that's going to be 2 times negative 3 plus negative 2 times negative 3. Well, 2 times negative 3 is, 2 times negative 3 is going to be a negative 6 plus a positive 6, which is 0. Correct? Now, ladies and gentlemen, anything divided by the magnitude. Now, you guys already know the, we can figure out the magnitude, right? At least I, I'll just give you the formula again. Yep. OK, now you could figure out the magnitude, but that's kind of a waste of time, because 0 divided by any number is always going to be what? 0. So the cosine of theta is equal to 0. So you don't really need to find the magnitude. It's kind of a waste of time in this problem, because our numerator, our dot product, is 0. So therefore, when we do the cosine inverse, theta equals cosine inverse of 0. And theta is going to equal, guys, you don't even need a calculator. When is cosine in the unit circle, cosine inverse is between 0 and 2 pi. When is cosine equal to 0? When is the x coordinate equal to 0? Oh, this point right here, 0 comma 1. What is that angle? from here to here, 90 degrees. Right, didn't even need a calculator. So it's 90 degrees. Now, that also goes back to um, uh, our thing. So therefore, I did the dot product basically for you, and then we figured out it was 90 degrees. Do you guys remember what I called orthogonal angles? Orthogonal angles were angles that were? Perpendicular. Perpendicular, Perpendicular angles um, are, 90, are 90 degrees, right? 